don't like that idea. Oops. Stop, 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 stop. You were on the way over here. Stop. We're going to make a little stack of two. It's not going to be a big stack. Not sure that hurting India is going to contribute to the war score the same way, but it's something. Wow, he's got a lot of cavalry now. Of course, they don't fare as well against the uh, the riflemen. Riflemen get a bonus against them. Purchase, draft. We have lots of people on the front lines. Is he really researching, like, I guess it's just physics. Although he gets a free great scientist from doing it. Yeah, the tech race is not great. Um, no. a gunpowder unit? I don't know. Um, no. Where's the... Uh, there it is. Unit, unit categories? Gunpowder units. No, it doesn't. I mean, even though they do look like they carry guns. probably could use an extra medic unit somewhere. Very nice. Whoops. Hitting all the wrong way. already got a lot of XP. Just hold tight there and I'm going to upgrade you and give you tons of XP. You're going to be the the real killer unit of some kind. Right, so you two Actually, I should have... Oh, I did the same thing the last time I played a game of this. I should have upgraded one of the um, the swordmen who had a lot of XP, or, or the heavy footmen, because then I could have upgraded them to a rifleman for free. Ah, uh, well. Probably not the best way of doing it, but it seemed fun. Let's 
So he's got me at sea, like the ship situation is not great on my end. I want to purchase some trim shares. Should do that a little bit more. And a little bit more, spend my money there. I guess a handful of upgrades wouldn't hurt either. Should only do the ones with real promotions like this guy. And that guy wouldn't hurt either. Okay. You're gonna get the gunpowder promotion. And then fortify. What do we have here? Some knigets. Oh, there's a second place they can get through over there. Damn. Still. Uh <coughs> I'm gonna make it so I'm not maxing out on just him anymore. going around. If not flat land, I might be able to attack him now. I'm now the worst enemy of Brennus. So it ain't so. Squash the night. Ninety-five percent. I like those odds. And my super soldier. because it's actually going to improve their happiness situation there. Keep sitting. We need we need more time. We need those trebuchets to reach us. And then we'll be laughing because we can just run over his army. You know, he has more troops, but they're going to be spread out. Let's finish with physics. Whoa, okay. He's going where I was going.
by the trebuchet. And then for my military cities. Hague's building a market, which really isn't like terribly critical right now, especially from a place that gets bonus XP. Well, if you want to wait to catapults against stacks of two, I'm not going to cry too much. Catapults wouldn't be bad either. Catapults have slightly higher attack uh, in general. They just don't get as much of a bonus against cities. Pillaging Arg. Interface slows down a little bit when you've got so many units to select here. Hmm. It's quite the death stack. But then I've got a little bit of that too. It really, I mean, while Civ 5 has, you know, a certain type of of tactical positioning, there's um, there's a lot of ability to choose your engagement here as well. You know, I want the ones with the city rate of promotion. There we go. Those are, those are the ones that are really important to upgrade because you can't get that promotion on riflemen, and riflemen with city rate of promotion are scary. So we're going to accept the loss of some of the terrain so that we don't take an unfavorable attack. As much as I'd like to wipe out their entire stack, I don't want to lose... I don't want to be cost inefficient while I'm doing it. Uh, that's less than good. Toledo was in such rough shape here. Seville's not doing too good either. Okay, cancel the rallies. Because they could go through the back door here and uh, really give me a bad time. I guess the Hague's not great either. Although at the same time I suppose that's why the draft is so handy. Units don't have any XP but they're still decent. 
Oh, actually, this one gets XP. Interesting. Probably from the Great General. 